Hello, hello. So it is Tuesday the 1st of September and welcome to another vlog. So as you may know, if you've been around for a little while, I will be participating in two readathons during September and they are Becca's Bookopolathon and I think it's actually a touch of Whimsy, Whimsy's Journey Through Wonderland readathon. I have also decided, as again you probably know if you've been around for a little while, that I'm going to try and do a few more vlogs. And apparently I'm in the mood for vlogging, so you might get more than one vlog this month. I also have to see how I go, but uh, seems like a good day to start a vlog on the first of the month and the first day of two readathons. So before I get started on talking about my plan for the day and my plan for the week, I wanted to say a really big welcome and thank you to some of the new subscribers that are here. I think I've had an increase of like 10-ish subscribers in the last week or so, which is just amazing. So thank you all so much for choosing to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, of course, to all the people that have been around for a while and have been watching me for a while. It's always so great to chat with you and... I really appreciate you joining me and watching my videos as well. So yeah, that's amazing and welcome and thanks. <laughs> also a big thank you to some of the people who gave me some suggestions. On my last vlog I did have a little bit of a chat about feeling like I wasn't sure if I was doing something wrong or because I didn't feel like I was growing as fast as other people subscriber wise. So thank you to those people who commented. Very overwhelmingly positive and kind comments. Particular thank you to Connor who gave me a lot of suggestions and has chatted to me off of booktube <laughs> about some suggestions and ideas that I've been having and that's been really helpful and I'm really grateful for that. Of course um, also really grateful to my amazing partner Rowan who has also given me some great advice and been a sounding board for some of my ideas and my wonderful friend Michelle um, because she has also been a really great sounding board so thank you to those people as well. Yes so let's move on to the plan for the week. Well obviously I have work. <laughs> I will be uploading a video every on Wednesday and Saturday. As you know I upload every Wednesday and Saturday so I've got actually got those mostly done. Um, one I'm just going to actually do a little bit more editing for that but it's pretty much ready to go and that's what's going up tomorrow and then Saturdays is done as well. So as I just said it is the 1st of September. I So I have a whole new TBR that I need to read this month. I haven't really read very much today so far. I did read this morning quite early in the hours of the morning because I woke up quite early. I did finish off a book that I actually should have finished in August which is A Clockwork Princess uh, which as you again have been around for a while or if you've been watching Connor's channel you would know that Connor and I have been reading the uh, Shadowhunters books by Cassandra Clare. I finished Clockwork Princess in the early, early hours of this morning but since Australia is nine hours ahead of GMT. I'm gonna say that I finished it in August because well first of all it was early hours of the 1st of September but secondly it was still August in quite a lot of the world <laughs> so I'm gonna count that as finished which means I have quite a few options. I did put a poll on Twitter, not a poll, I did ask Twitter which book I should start my bookopolathon with and these are the two that I'm probably the most keen to start reading. This is the one that everyone on Twitter has commented and said I should read first but I'm also quite keen to read this one and the reason why I'm not certain about whether I'm going to start with this one or start with this one is because my friend Rachel is actually wanting to do a little bit of a book club buddy read type of thing with me this month. She was possibly going to join me in reading one of the books that I'm reading for my TBR already um, and this is one of the ones that I suggested. She's already read this one, in fact she gave me this book so I'm kind of waiting to hear back from her before I start, potentially start this one. I have actually been reading for a little while this afternoon and then there were none which is a book I have to read for my in real life book club. I've read about a chapter and a half of that um, and then also my friend Alison and I are buddy reading the Obelisk Gate. We were supposed to have read 100 pages, 100 more pages last week and chat on Sunday but I put it off because I was trying to get Clockwork Princess done 
So I need to read 100 pages of this because we decided we'd talk by tomorrow night. Alison's very flexible, so she may be very happy to put it off again, but I do want to try and get some done because I am really enjoying it. So I probably need to read some more of this today as well. So I might not start any of those books after all today. I might just stick with this one and read some more of... Um, and then there were none, which of course I did start today. So yeah, those are the reading plans for today. As far as the rest of the week goes, I will I'll see how I go. I'm probably going to start either with the viral high or perfectly preventable, preventable deaths at some point in the next couple of days. So I guess I'll keep you updated as I go along. I'm just going for a little walk to the supermarket to get some milk. Um, and I thought that you might like to come. It's just a walk through suburbia, nothing particularly fancy or anything, but we do have the view of our mountain always looming over us. So it's still quite a nice little walk. So um, there it is there. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you along. So <laughs> enjoy. Hey guys, I just finished work and I got a text message saying that I had a package at the post office. So I'm going to go and get that. I don't know what it is. It's likely that it's my scribbler box. Um, I know that I only just went up, but I do tend to <laughs> try and space them out a bit. So I tend to put them up later in the month and I get them. But yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't my ghost scribbler box which means it's a package from i don't know where i haven't ordered anything it's definitely from amazon so i was way too excited to wait till i get home even though it's like literally around the corner so let's see what it is Ooh, ooh mexican gothic been hearing some pretty good buzz about that one who is it from hope you enjoy this i've only heard great things about it from cat from brews and reviews oh thank you cat that is so kind oh my god i'm super oh, just put that down super excited about this one and that's so kind of you thank you so much i really really appreciate that i know that this is really doing the rounds on booktube at the moment so if you have heard about this recently then i guess feel free to skip forward a bit um, but i'm just going to read the blurb on the back so that anyone watching who isn't watching lots of booktube will know what it's about when glamorous socialite noemi taboda receives a frantic letter from her newly wed cousin begging to be rescued from a mysterious doom. It's clear something is desperately amiss. Catalina has always had a flair for the dramatic, but her claims that her husband is poisoning her and her visions of restless ghosts and sound remarkable. 
even for her. Noemi's chic gowns and perfect lipstick are more suited to cocktail parties than amateur sleuthing, but she immediately heads to High Place, a remote mansion in the Mexican countryside, determined to discover what is so affecting her cousin. Tough and smart, she possesses an indom indomitable will, and she's not afraid, not of her cousin's new husband, who is both menacing and alluring, not of his father, the ancient patriarch who seems to be fascinated by Noemi and not of the house itself, which begins to invade Noemi's dreams with visions of blood and doom. Her only ally in this inhospitable abode is the family's youngest son, shy and gentle, who wants to help, but he might also be hiding dark knowledge of his family's past, for there are many secrets behind the walls of High Place. The family's once colossal wealth and fading mining empire kept them from prying eyes, but as Noemi digs deeper, she unearths stories of violence and madness. And Noemi, mesmerised by the terrifying yet seductive world of the high, of high Place, soon finds it impossible to leave its enigmatic house behind. That sounds amazing. I've been hearing mostly good things about this one. A couple of people have said they didn't like it as much, but for the most part, people seem to be enjoying it. Um, I think it sounds fantastic. I'm really excited to read this one. Um, but I probably won't be able to get to it for a little while because you all know my TBR is a bit insane. Well, maybe not insane, but I've got a lot going on this month. But yeah, I'm really keen to read this. So thank you, Kat. That is amazing. Um, I'm going to go home now and I need to upload my video for today. And then I need to read some more of um the obelisk gate it's probably meant to blank for a second there uh because alice and i are supposed to be chatting about that tonight although to be completely honest i'm not sure how i'm gonna go because i'm knackered but see how i feel when i get home um yeah so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna probably watch a little bit of booktube when i get home and then i will do my video put upload my video and then I will, depending on what time it is when I finally get around to <laughs> uploading, I will then either be doing dinner or be reading. Hey guys, it is Thursday the 3rd of September and I've just gotten home from work. As you can see, I'm kind of mostly lying on the couch. I thought I would update you on what's been happening. I feel like I haven't really been reading very much in the last few days, although in my defence it's been two and a half days, so probably not that big of a deal. So I did start, uh, and then there were none, by Agatha Christie, because that's my book club pick for this month, um, so as I said, I, in my TBR video, I have to read that by the 12th of September, so I wanted to get that started. So I did start that on Tuesday afternoon. I think I read three chapters. It is literally just there, but apparently I'm too lazy to actually get it um, to check. But anyway, wasn't a huge amount. I feel like that was it. <laughs> so you would think by Friday I'd be dead. But on Wednesday I'd be fine. I was so tired yesterday. Wednesdays always, always, always kill me. I don't entirely know why. Um, so I work Monday. I don't work Tuesday. I work Wednesday. I work Thursday. I work Friday. But Wednesday, Wednesdays always exhaust me. And I think a lot of it is because... So Mondays and Wednesdays is when I teach art. And I love it. Um, however, it is on class. The whole time and because I am needing to do a lot of prep work in between classes but then I also have duty um, both of those days so I don't have get a huge amount of time off during the day so it's kind of a lot of lots of running around um, and whatnot whereas Thursday and Friday that is a new role to me it's quite a hardcore role but it's off class so I don't have to deal with kids. And then also, well, I have duties, but because I don't have to deal with kids, I can basically take breaks when I need to. So, um, yeah, I feel like that's probably why. Sorry, I changed angles. <laughs> it's 
not the most flattering of angles, but anyway, I changed angles because Rowan came and chatted to me, and then in between that happening and me starting to refilm, a cat came and sat on me. And obviously you can't just move a cat. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's my theory, but it has meant that I haven't really read a huge amount. I really wasn't in the mood for reading last night. Rowan and I just ended up watching YouTube and then watching some QI and then I pretty much went to bed. So that's what I've been up to. So now it's about four-ish, I want to say, in the afternoon. And as you would know, has become my custom. I have taken up watching some of your YouTube videos on my, my TV screen while I just relax and kind of, you know, rest from the day. But I think that I'm going to read. Now, I'm moving you again because I was actually leaning the camera on the phone. On the book that I'm going to read soon, at some point today, um, With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I actually took this to work with me today because I am on library duty for lunchtime. So that means the kids can come in and read and do some coming in, play some quiet games um, and that sort of thing. So I was going to read some of this book while I was on library duty because I'm in a library. Um, good modelling, etc. However, one of the girls wanted to play Cluedo with me. Um, so we ended up playing Cluedo instead. So I read <laughs> the first page which is actually a recipe for lemon verbena tem tem temblique, I think. And I just wanted to tell you what it says. I won't tell you the whole ingredient and method, but for serves, it says, your heart when you are missing someone you love. And then at the end, it tells you when it's best eaten. Best eaten cold while daydreaming about palm trees and listening to a Hector Laveau classic. I just thought that was really cute. So I really liked that. Hey guys, I just got home from work and I'm standing in my atrium. <laughs> um, so I'm about to go inside and probably going to do what I've been doing recently and watch some booktube videos. I have quite a few waiting for me on watch later. Then tonight I'm going into town to meet a friend of mine for drinks. Um, so we're actually going to the Twilight Market in town, which is like a food kind of market thing. So I think that happens once a month or something like that. So it hasn't been on for quite a while, as you would expect um, 2020 being what it has been. Sorry, I'm a little wobbly. At the moment yeah so we're going to be doing that so I'm just gonna see how I go with reading today or tonight I did read a tiny bit on a break this afternoon so I read probably about 10 pages um, of uh, with a fire on high and yeah I'll, I'll update you later
so as you can see i'm in the car again um for anyone that has noticed the child seat in the back there <laughs> um it's actually for my nephew it's so that i can take him out and do stuff without having to swap car seats or borrow cars or whatever anyway i'm heading into town now uh to the night market and to meet up with my friend i might show you around the night market <laughs> So that's, yeah, that's the night market. It's a little bit smaller and a little bit quieter than it has been in the past. I think I don't need to explain why. And yeah, so I'm just gonna stand at the front here and wait for Bibiana, that's where we said we would meet. Um, it's kind of cold, so I'm hoping she gets here soon so I can go and stand near a fire, 13 degrees. Um, so, you know, not the coldest it's ever been, but it's not exactly a warm night for hanging out outside. But anyway, um, yeah, I will talk to you again in a little while. Hey guys, just a very quick update to let you know that I finished with the fire on high this afternoon. I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was well written. I enjoyed Amoni's character. I thought that she was a really believable character. I really enjoyed the way that she, yeah, the way that she was written and I just thought it was a really enjoyable read. I haven't really, I mean I don't tend to rate books really anyway, but I haven't really figured out whereabouts in enjoyable it goes. It's definitely up there, it's definitely a great book, but I don't know that it personally rung as much uh, of a bell with me as it has with other people so I wouldn't say that it's my favorite book but I definitely really enjoyed it and I really think it's worth reading and I think it's really well written and really a good time. So this is my um, first book for Becca's Bookopoly. This is um, for YA book. Um, so as you know I am reading um, The Obelisk Gate for, by N.K. Jemison with my friend Alison. Uh, we didn't manage to talk actually at all this week so we're supposed to be talking tomorrow um, and I still have like 40 pages to read so I need to do that but I probably won't do that at the moment. We, Rowan and I actually just went down the road and had a coffee uh, which was really nice and we are going I think going to play some video games together this afternoon um, but first I need to upload my video for today which you will see by the time this goes up so I will link it in the description below um so yeah go check that out if you if this is your first video of mine and you want to see more of my stuff anyway um I'll probably update you in a little bit more detail about how I'm going and what's been going on but I just wanted to quickly jump on and say hello and let you know I finished this book good morning it is Sunday morning and it's actually Father's Day in Australia. So today Rowan and I are going to meet my family and his dad in a little park which is down in a rural area of Tasmania, a bit further south, where my sister and her family live. So we're just going to have like a hangout in the park, kick some balls around, you know, do that sort of thing. So I just wanted to update you guys and say hello. I am probably going, well in fact I will definitely definitely, um, film some of the um, drive down because it's a really beautiful drive um, and I think you guys would enjoy seeing it. So I will do, do that. Today I'm actually focusing on the Obelisk Gate. I think partly because I kind of have so many other books that I want to read and a bit 
more of a pressing time frame for most of those. So I haven't been focusing so much on this one. So we're going to chat this evening and I still haven't read the pages we're supposed to read. I'm up to page 174 and I'm going to sit down and read a little bit more today. Alison messaged me earlier and said that she's up to page 198 so we're basically just going to read to there so we can chat about it tonight. I don't want to give any spoilers because this is the second book in the trilogy as you probably know so I don't want to spoil the first book but it is totally unlike anything I've read before. It's definitely a mix of fantasy and science fiction. It's obviously very well thought out. N.K. Jamison is a masterful storyteller and she's completely blowing my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just read something that tells you a bit more about what's going on in the world in general and where the series is going and I still definitely don't feel like I've gotten the whole story but I've definitely gotten a lot more of the story and it's just, whew, man, it's just amazing. She she has such a, a mind. It's incredible. I don't know how she comes up with this. I don't know how she keeps it all together in her head. Um... Yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing. So I'm really looking forward to reading some more of this. I'm going to sit down now, I think, and read a little bit more. We don't have to read, have to leave for another um, hour or so. So I've got a little bit of time to do that. I will check in again with you later. Look at what a nice sunny day it is today. Perfect day for a drive. Mum and Dad, Chris and Heather, say hello. Hi. Hello. And of course Rowan. 
And of course, Hello. Rowan. And of course, Rowan. And we are in lovely downtown little park. Judbury. Downtown Judbury. And we have the Huon River. Hey guys. So it's Monday the 7th of September. I'm actually going to finish the vlog here because... I actually swapped my work day so I am not working today and I will be working tomorrow, Tuesday, which is when I was filming from and to. Uh, but just, yeah, I don't think I'll have a chance tomorrow to film the end of the vlog and then also do all the edits and then everything ready to upload on Wednesday. So I have started Perfectly Preventable Deaths. I started it this morning. I've only read about 12 pages. Um, Rowan and I had an appointment we had to go to this morning. So, yeah, I only got... Um, sorry, I'm just going to wait for the ambulance to go past. So I only got, uh, yeah, 12 pages in, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I mean, I don't know much about what's going on, but it's interesting so far so that's pretty cool yeah so that is it for my vlog for this week so i really hope that you enjoyed this vlog if you have any comments any questions any thoughts please do post them all in the comments below if you want to chat with me on social media please go and check out all of that information will be in the description below so please go over and find me on social media and yeah again Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.